Welcome back. Our friend Chef Serge is with us again. And this recipe is one that will make you want to eat Brussels sprouts if you don't eat them. It has this little twist on it. It does. And you know what? It's holiday time, so we try to make it a little bit yes. festive. We got a little delicious. bit of delicious. We, we got a little bit of red with it, green. So try to make it good for the for Christmas. Great. Well, well the first of all, the first thing I wanted to do, and I've already done this, rendered okay. the fat from the pancetta, and it's right here. And afterwards, what we're gonna do is put this uh, Brussels sprouts, uh, your raw Brussels sprouts, whether they're frozen or you get fresh, you go ahead and stir them in for a minute. Okay. And I know, f uh, just for a minute, get all that fat. Instead of all of you, oh, I'm getting that flavor from the pancetta. You put them in here, uh, you roast them for about 15 minutes in the oven and one, at 450 degrees. Okay. Once, once they come out, it's a simple uh, simple dish after that. I'm sorry, I forgot the salt and pepper before you put it in the... Oh, uh, before you put it put in. It in the, okay. Put it in the... We'll uh, improvise. Uh, uh, we, we are improvising. But right after that, I got a little bit of red. Guess what? We got some pomegranates right here. It's so pretty and Christmassy. It is. It does look Christmassy. And, and let me move this over so that you guys can see it on TV. And got some walnuts. Again, another Christmas uh, little holiday thing. A little bit of pancetta. Add your mm. pancetta right here. And the twist to that is I'm adding a little bit of pomegranate molasses. Okay, that's and interesting. It's twist. got a sweetness mm -hmm. to it. It's kind of like a balsamic vinegar. It's got both sweetness and a and little bit of pungence to it. And, and you put it in here. You mix it up. And guess what, folks? Voila. It is ready to be served. That looks amazing. I'm going to hold it up so everybody can see. Take a look at that. And a gorgeous dish, too. It is. Very, very holiday -ish, isn't it? <laughs> and so if you don't eat Brussels sprouts, you will eat them with all of these fancy things on top of them as well. Mixed in. I love this. Um, the recipe will be on our website, kark.com. Also, this flank steak, so popular. My mom already texted. She's making it next week. I'm very excited for some companies and family members who are, are you going to go get it, too? Absolutely. All right. You I'll need to let me know how she does it. I'll be knocking on her door. And you said, if you saw that segment earlier with this flank steak, you have to use the specialty sauce, which is the... Or the, the sauce that you added to it, um, the flank steak. Oh, the Montreal. I, Montreal. All I did was a Mont Montreal season. Yes, you do have to put a little bit of Montreal season. It really makes a difference. Not just salt and pepper, but go ahead and get that Montreal seasoning on there. It gives it a little bit of much better, much better flavor. I tried it both ways, and I like it with Montreal anyway. I like anyway. it with that. I'll tell you, if you could smell the studio right now, you would make both of these dishes because it just smells absolutely delicious. Perfect for your family coming over for the Christmas holidays. Um, how busy are you guys catering? The we next are week? very busy. I mean, we we got uh, caterings almost every every night, and uh, you know we're booked about three three nights. We're completely closed. I think we got 13 events going on Friday wow. night, Friday night, and Friday afternoon, and and uh, five or six uh, Saturday. It is the season. And it is the season. That's very that time exciting. of the year. We are very excited. Well, thanks for stopping by. We love having you in, Chef Serge. The recipes will be on our website, kark.com. Don't miss it. We're back with more after this.